Tension on deck. Please remain standing for our invocation. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to pause and take time to celebrate the accomplishments of these sailors as a recognition of their hard work, commitment, and endurance they displayed to successfully complete their first phase in the nuclear training pipeline. We're also thankful for the support of their SOPOs, instructors, and staff who journeyed with them thus far, helping to prepare them for their next challenge ahead. We're also grateful for their family and friends who many times are the source of strength and encouragement these sailors need to push forward through all the stress and adversity they face. May their families be a constant source of love and strength. Lord, bless this time and may your presence be felt here today. In your holy name I pray, amen. Please be seated. Commander Williams, chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates, welcome to the graduation ceremony for Machinist Mate Class 2129 and Electronic Technician Class 2119. Today is a special day for these sailors as it marks the completion of long weeks of hard work. I am pleased we're here to recognize the efforts and achievements of these young men and women. Today's guest speaker was born in 1995 in Clifton, New Jersey and joined the Navy in 2013. After completing recruit training in Great Lakes, Illinois, he attended Nuclear Field A School, Power School, and finished training at Nuclear Prototype Training Unit 635. Upon completion of training, he served on board the USS Providence, a nuclear-powered fast attack submarine, home ported in Groton, Connecticut. During his time in Groton, he supported three deployments vital to national security, and in 2017, he was chosen to attend Naval Diving and Salvage Training Center in Panama City, Florida, earning his qualification as a diver. In June 2020, he was selected to become an instructor and reported to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. Upon reporting, he was assigned as an electronics fundamental instructor and is now a section leading petty officer. It is my pleasure to introduce electronic technician, first class submarine and dive, Eric James. All right, Commander Williams, uh, chaplain, uh, other staff members, family and friends who are streaming live to you across the country, and most importantly, graduates, welcome. Uh, and then once again, most importantly, I'd really like to welcome you guys, the graduates here today. This is a day that's all about you. Uh, the reason I'm here as a guest speaker today, I suppose, is to shed some light on how immense the accomplishment graduating nuclear field A school actually is, and touching upon my experience to do so. Uh, in every class, guarantee there are some students in both of these classes that fit the bill I'm about to describe. Uh, there are some students who don't struggle, right? Um, they're gifted enough to absorb all of the material put out during lecture perfectly, and they're more or less able to ace every exam that they take. Those intellectual abilities will serve those students well in the fleet, where a level of knowledge is highlighted as one of our watch-standing principles, an essential part of our nuclear power program. I was definitely not one of those students. I was usually on a mixture of what we call 20 tac 3s and 25 tac 4s during my time here, meaning that in addition to the hours that you were required to do during lecture in the day, I had to do 25 extra over the week and four hours on academic days. Uh, did that for a year here in this building, all to achieve a GPA that I never intend to advertise on a resume. That said, uh, my struggles in my time here provided me with a mindset that proved invaluable in the fleet. I feel confident in saying, for all of you graduating today who haven't had the easiest road to walking across this stage, that you will find all of the challenges you had to overcome will prepare you for the rig rigors of naval nuclear power in ways you never thought imaginable. One of those challenges was learning how to work in a team. For today's graduates, I know we've referred to you as a class during your time here, but I want you to know and understand that this was the first real division that you've been a part of in the Navy. Learning to navigate different personalities, skills, strengths, and weaknesses to achieve a common goal during your time in A school is a skill that will benefit you when you get to your first ship, and for many of you, allow you to become a more effective leader when you were selected as your division's leading petty officer. The tireless work ethic that many of you have developed, especially if you were like me, and not the most academically gifted student, will allow you to successfully tackle your initial qualifications when you get to the ship. You will find that holding yourselves, your shipmates, and your work to the highest standard the Navy expects of you to become second nature. 
to tie all of that together, getting used to trying your best and hardest at everything you do is the most important thing you have learned in your time here. With that mentality, even one sailor can change a division for the better. One division can change a department for the, be for the better, and a department's performance and morale has a huge effect on an entire command. If you leave here today with that mindset and those skills, I promise that you can make your future command a better place. That being said, take your experiences here and apply them to that mindset, doing your best at all you do. Uh, usually during these graduation speeches, uh, people like to tie in quotes from various famous leaders like former presidents, John F. Kennedy and Jimmy Carter, or famous football coaches and leaders like Vince <coughs> Lombardi. I'd like to close with a quote from my uh, quote unquote sea dad and first leading petty officer, which he imparted to me when I showed up to the Providence about a week before a six month overseas deployment. He promised me that if I followed the three simple rules in the quote, I'd be successful at everything I'd ever do in the Navy. That proved to be overwhelmingly true, and I still live by and pass on those words to my sailors. That being said, show up to work on time, do your job, and look good doing it. Once again, congratulations. Military members, attention. Graduating students, I will now frock you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. Greetings! Greetings. Know ye that by the authority vested in me and reposing spe special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy, as such from the day of 16th day of August 2021. To the appointee, your appointment as a petty officer in the United States Navy makes you heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation, which may serve as an enviable example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity, attention to duty, and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, understanding and strength to your subordinates, you will continue, or excuse me, contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. Please be seated. <coughs> Please join me now in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officer. Each of these sailors has earned their new title. There are those, however, who stand out from the rest as evidenced by having the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for the achievements in the classroom. We call these sailors our honor graduates. Today's honor graduates are machinist mate, third class, Jason Stoker, and electronic technician, third class, Dylan Campbell. Honor graduates, front and center. The Honor Graduate Award will be presented by Commander Williams and Senior Chief Regis. Military personnel, attention to honors. <laughs> From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, to Machinist Mate, Third Class, Jason Stoker, and Electronic Technician, Third Class, Dylan Campbell. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average among all of the graduates from your class at Nuclear Field A School, Charleston. Your standing as number one reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of United States Naval Service. Best wishes, signed S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. It is my pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for class 2129 Alpha, machinist mate, first class submarines, Jeffrey Kuick. Good morning, Commander Williams, chaplain, staff, graduates. First off, congratulations. Uh, here we are at Nuclear Field A School graduation. This is the greatest milestone in your naval career thus far. From here you will go on to uh, nuclear power school to learn the principles behind shipboard nuclear power plants, and then on to prototype to become certified nuclear operators. 
This is a prestigious certification that cements your reputation of a quality individual with extreme work ethic, making you a valuable asset to any organization that you may ever be a part of. You've been through a lot together during A school. Though through the good times and the bad times, you finally learned to come together as a class. An old nautical saying is that a ship is only as good as its crew. If a crew does not work together as a team towards a common goal, it will not be successful. You will find this to be true throughout your naval career. Never forget the value of teamwork. Graduates, sailors, shipmates, I use that word in earnest, shipmates. You are the next group of sailors going towards the fleet as nuclear trained operators. You sit here today as graduates, not by my, the staff, or anyone else's actions, but by your own. Rest assured, the staff provided guidance, instruction, and a lot of mentoring along the way. But these sailors succeeded because they chose to. I, I am proud to stand next to each and every one of you and I could not be more proud of the sailors you are today. And I cannot wait to see all that you accomplish throughout your naval careers. So I'll leave you with two parts of advice. First, I said this since day one, the standard is perfection. And don't mess this up. <laughs> so without any further delay, presenting class 2129. Left, fix. The following students are graduating with a grade point average between 2.50 and 3.39. Machinist mate, third class, Brooke Adams. Machinist mate, third class, Dennis Berryhill. Machinist mate, third class, Julian Zosselman. Machinist mate, third class, Colin Byers. Machinist mate, third class, Josiah Campbell. Machinist mate, third class, Charles Kennedy. Machinist mate, third class, Michael Carneo. Machinist mate, third class, Kara Carpenter. Machinist mate, third class, Jesse Hall. Machinist mate, third class, Joseph Ingram. Machinist mate, third class, Alec Jackson. Machinist mate, third class, Reese Maynard. Machinist mate, third class, Caitlin Napolsky. Machinist mate, third class, Cole Powell. Machinist mate, third class, Ethan Rivera. Machinist mate, third class, Jonathan Smith Kleska. Machinist mate, third class, Kevin Burris. Machinist mate, third class, Victoria Williams. Students are graduating with distinction for having a grade point average between 3.40 and 3.59. Machinist mate, third class, Brianna Cook. Machinist mate, third class, Natalie Garcia Robles. Machinist mate, third class, Jason Nelson. Machinist mate, third class, Mason Polson. Machinist mate, third class, Luke Reed. Machinist mate, third class, Jamie Wyman. Last students are graduating with honors for having a grade point average between 3.60 and 4.00. Machinist mate, third class, Patrick Benton. Machinist mate, third class, Jason Stoker. It is my pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for class 2119 Tango, Chief Electronic Technician, Submarines, Jeffrey Shear.
Good morning, Lieutenant Commander Williams, Chaplain, graduates, and I'd like to wish a special good morning to the heroes behind each one of our graduates today, their supporting family and friends. Your sailors have just accomplished their first significant milestone on their naval nuclear power journey, completing electronics ignition nuclear field A school. Nuclear electronics ignition are trusted to operate and perform maintenance on reactor control equipment. This level of trust is earned by completing the remaining two thirds of the training pip pipeline during which they will continue to need your support, whether they realize it or not. And if they don't, they will come to realize it in the coming years when they're standing watch as reactor operator, thousands of miles away from home, off the coast of a worthy adversary, they'll realize it. I promise you that. I want to thank you for your unwavering and continued support of your sailors. Graduates, I could not be more proud of you. All of you embody one of the most essential characteristics of a sailor, perseverance, meaning continued effort to do or achieve something despite difficulties, failure, or opposition. And I can say that you've overcome those difficulties, failures, and oppositions. And you excelled at it. I leave you with this. Most of you remember what I always used to say right before exams. Don't leave any questions blank. We can't grade what isn't there. So I challenge you not to leave any of your life blank. Get out there and write your answers to life's questions. So when you're old and salty, like many of you think I am, <laughs> you can look back on your time and say you did it 4.0. I wish you the best in the next leg of your nuclear power training, and I look forward to seeing you in the fleet. So without holding up your leave any further, I present class 2119 Tango. Glad face. Electro Electronics Ignition Third Class, Frederick Ammons. <laughs> Electronics Ignition Third Class, Christopher Black. <laughs> Electronics <laughs> Ignition Third Class, <laughs> Nathan <laughs> Ng. <laughs> Electronics Ignition Third Class, Joseph Held. Electronic Technician, third class, Noah Keating. <laughs> Electronic Technician, third class, Carson Kimball. <laughs> Electronic Technician, third class, Thomas Melnick. <laughs> Electronic Technician, third class, Alejandro Sanchez. Electronic Technician Third Class, Austin Smiley. Face. Electronic Technician Seaman, Riley Stanton. <laughs> Electronic Technician Third Class, William Stebbins. <laughs> Electronic Technician Third Class, Lester Tablizo. Electronic Technician Third Class Hunter Thomas. <laughs> and now graduating with distinction with a GPA between 3.40 and 3.59, Electronic Technician Third Class Richard Abuel. <laughs> Electronic Technician Third Class Dylan New. Now graduating with honors with a GPA of 3.60 to 4.00, Electronic Ignition Third Class, Dylan Campbell. <laughs> Electronic Ignition Third Class, Dakota Velotti.
Each of these sailors exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to be here. Still, there are those that, by the manner in which they have completed their training, have inspired others. What sets these sailors aside from their peers are the consistency of their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the example they set. They demonstrated the qualities most treasured in the Navy, the notes of honor, courage, and commitment. These sailors are recipients of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Today's recipients are, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing, Machinist Mate, Third Class, Reese Maynard, and Electronic Technician, Third Class, Richard Abul. Awardees, Front and Center. The Personal Excellence Award will be presented by Commander Williams and Master Chief Zimmerman. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, to Machinist Mate, Third Class, Reese Maynard, and Electronic Technician, Third Class, Richard Abul. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student in each class who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This student stands apart from peers by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your impressive dedications to duty, exceptional academic efforts, and perseverance in the face of adversity have made you an outstanding example for your classmates to emulate. The professionalism exhibited while performing your duties is in keeping with our Navy core values and warrants your selection and recognition today as recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. My staff and I are proud of your demonstrated effort, leadership, and outstanding results. The character and professionalism that have earned you this recognition will serve you well in your follow-on training, and I am confident you will succeed here and in the fleet. Congratulations and well done. Signed, S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. It is my pleasure to introduce the Director of Student Divisions, Commander Williams. Thank you, Commander Toast. Uh, I'll keep my word that I said to you guys yesterday, and I'll keep it short, seeing as how Chaps and I stand between you and Liberty and Lead, which I know you've been waiting on this entire time, right? Um, I'm going to start off by echoing a couple statements that have already been made. Definitely. Uh, Thank you to the friends and family. Hopefully you'll be able to see this graduation via our streaming service, or, or if not, please pass along their thanks to, for me to them, all right? Uh, definitely a big part of not only your success up to this date, but will continue to be a part of your uh, network and success as you move forward. We got to that. Also, uh, staff. Uh, I have a lot of the staff here, but also staff that are not in this room. A school staff, uh, as well as the support staff with the instructor and advisory, uh, do an excellent job and invest a lot of their own emotion and time to your success. Um, you know, uh, it, it's, a, it's a job, it's what we do, but uh, it wouldn't do, we wouldn't do this as well as we do, and uh, the school wouldn't be as successful as it is, or as the program, without uh, a lot of the emotional investment to your success, right? I know you felt it, and uh, it's something that you're gonna, be echoed when you go over to the power school side of the house. To graduates, we've already talked about this uh, equity that you've built into yourselves, right? Protect it, right? Be there for each other, look out for each other. This is something that you've created in your lives, in your military career, in your success, and your civilian career, whenever you get to that point, right? Protect it, make good decisions. You know, we're all going back to, uh, like we've talked about, you're going on leave, you're left to your own decision-making capability. That decision network is uh, removed. It's you, right? So lean back on some of those lessons you've learned on that decision-making metrics and uh, make some good decisions while you're out there. But charge those batteries, have fun, get ready to come back and get back at it again once you get down, down the hall to the power school side. So yeah? yeah. All right, hey, um, you're not done, right? You have not arrived. But this is such a big part of your military careers, right? Celebrate this success. Remember it, right? Don't just go by and forget this. As soon as you get it to power school side, things get tough. You forget why you're fighting for it. Make sense? 
You've got these three legs to certification. You've completed one. You're one third of the way done. Work hard, do well. I look forward to seeing your success on the power school side as well as your success down the street. And hopefully one day we'll be able to see each other again in the fleet. With that said, thank you. Father, thank you again for today's ceremony and for those who made this graduation possible. Thank you for the wisdom shared and may it encourage our sailors to continue to become better versions of themselves, to strive for, per for perfection and to set the examples for others and to look good while doing it. But let them not become weary or lose heart in what they do and help them to stand firm and stay committed to those values that we hold dear. Lord, bless these sailors and may this day remind them of their hard work, their dedication, and the ability to finish strong, for the work is not yet complete. Give them rest between now and the start of power school. Watch over them, guide and protect them, remind them that they are not alone. As we close here today, let us be reminded of all those who've gone before us, who helped pave the way. Lord, bless, bless our sailors who are around the world and protect those who are in harm's way. Lord, please continue to best bless this command, our Navy and this great nation. We lift these prayers to you. Amen. This concludes today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations and well done. Military personnel, carry on.